Hey, video diary. Wow. So, um, drug dealers outside my window. I uh, took photos today and a little video. Although I didn't catch the deal like I saw the other day. Um, guys just hanging out here. I was actually, I have my binoculars, so I'm looking into his phone while he's sitting on the stoop. And it's a lot of pictures of girls and messaging back with uh, the drug addict who's meeting him. And then uh, a younger kid drug dealing with like, you know, African-American purple hair though, you know, just young and fucking stupid, just doing this shit. Yeah, there's a housing project on my corner and I, and yeah, it's just in a, a hub. And I bet that's just going on everywhere, just everywhere. At least visibly, you know, that's what I'm visibly saying, you know. I'm thinking of getting a camera that I can very carefully have and just take pictures and videos, but I'm going to put stickers up, you know, just fuck with these assholes and make sure they don't see me, right? I thought I'd read... Just a random sample of um, messages between my son and I. Uh, I'm just going to go back anywhere and just see what it is. Okay. Hi, son. How are you doing? Okay? Sleeping? He writes, sleeping. Hey, can I have 45 for my class? I need you to understand that I cannot afford a new car because you did not maintain the other one I paid for. I'm pissed off. <laughs> he writes back, I know, my car isn't going to break. Casey says we can order parts tonight. I say, prove it. Okay, well, I need to go to my class now. Sixty. Do not mistake my kindness for weakness. I have expectations. Okay, thanks. Love you. Love you too. We should talk when I leave my class. Call me. Okay, so it's 208 for parts, and he thinks I should get a tune-up, so it includes that. Valves, gaskets, timing belts, spark plugs wires, timing belt, engine mounts, so a whole bunch of good stuff, and he said it shouldn't be more than 350 in labor. <laughs> okay, that's what I've been waiting for, exclamation point. Putting money on the card now. Proud of you, son. Keep it up, dad. Okay, just the 208. You need funds too. Hit me up for the labor once he's doing it and whatever other bills you have. I'll put in the 260. Cool, thanks, I'll let you know. You're all set. Rock and roll. Keep those tunes of yours live. Hi, son. Are you set up for your week? I can call to catch up. Manana. Get a good sleep. Dad. Okay, I will call you tomorrow. Love you. Love you too. Rest that body. Oh, shit. I'll just zoom somewhere else. Hi, everything okay? I see that you called. Hey, son, are you ready for your week? I think I have a lot going on, so maybe sketch it all out. School, volunteering, plus the competitions, quite a bit. That's all, just thinking about you, Dad. I need to pay for my class tonight. Okay, also I have to get some books for class. I'll figure that out later. Okay. I have to do a history project on pre-1500 Western history can, can go all the way back. Mm. What makes a chord diminished? 
I sent $400. Thank you. Obviously, we spoke about what makes a chord diminished chord, which is a stacking of minor thirds, four of them. Oh, God. Yes, I spent most of my time alone, but I'll talk to the... I'll talk to you the most and chill with the Stryker family. Exactly what I, th what I do too. I think I've been protecting my headspace, etc. Okay. Oh, nice. I really don't hang out with any slackers at the gym. I always think about what you say, being the worst player in the band. I used to tell them that it's a good thing to be the beginner or the earliest if you're the worst player in the band, it 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 should mean that you can you're going to learn the most from the other people there. No nobody wants that, but you you're going to learn more than anybody else, or for, or from somebody who thinks that they're really good or don't need to learn. So I, that that was my point. Cool, thanks. I signed up for my competition next week, so that's why so low. Yesterday was the last day of early registration. Okay. Hi, son. Let me know what you need to keep up with your needs. I want to be able to focus. I want you to be able to focus on school. Let's talk tomorrow or touch base, Dad. Okay. Good night. It's my brother's birthday. Text him. Gym, music, car, dentist. He's got a stripe on his belt. Pictures, there he is, sparring. He's so beautiful. Sorry, phone died. Love you too, good night. Yeah, just left the gym, okay, good night. Just finished up training at Brian's. Anyway, sorry I took all that time, but... I think what what I'm getting at there is that Forrest was really normal, maybe even exceptional in some ways, in some ways, but in, you know, we're all, I meet a lot of exceptional people, <laughs> I don't know, like, he was exceptional. I think, but let's say you, you are, too. And I, I would always tell my son that, d don't just say, oh, you know, accept people saying, oh, how talented you are. Earn your talent. Earn your abilities through skill. That's your talent. Your, your ability to develop a really rare and beautiful skill. And the greatest thing about working out in martial arts is not, is not fighting somebody on the street. We don't want that. But is, is the, the beautiful feelings of training with other people and, and also feeling that like I'm not a, a victim or f as afraid although there's, you know, parameters about um, people have a lot of overconfidence. Something I was really, uh, talked to him a lot about. You know, he's a young person, a young man. Fuck. I'm uh, reading these books, like I said, that have uh, I found on the street um, four of which one by Bertrand Russell one by Epictetus who was a first century slave who became freed when his master who was very cruel was uh, killed by Nero um, Anyway, the, the slave Epictetus ended up in Greece teaching for many years, and he was a Stoic. And uh, one of the things that he says is, if something's not 
in our control, you know, like, like we have no reason to suffer from, from that. We, we shouldn't make ourselves suffer if something is out of our control. And that most of our knowledge should come from the heart to the brain, not from the brain to the heart. Like we shouldn't be trying to dictate to our emotions or to our primal selves who we are. We should allow our minds to filter our primal selves and mostly use our brains to um, avoid deception. very Taoist and uh, I just found that on the street I've been reading it it's talks about people dying and um, that even the death of a child shouldn't cause us to mourn because it's not something if it is not something that we could have done anything about Man, yeah, healing. Um, just a couple of thoughts, words, and I'll end this. The 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 difficulty I'm having with that is if I. Like, healing to me sounds like, or not sounds like, it, 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 I'm experiencing it as forgetting. Like, we just forget. And it was a thing I was so upset about in the, the days after he died. Like, how how I swore I would never forgive or forget out of the, the fear, you know, or the, yeah, the fear of, of losing him yet again on some other layer. Oh, Jesus, when I say this stuff and it comes out of my mouth, it sounds like fucking Freud. Um, or it sounds just layered and very familiar language or something, even though I don't understand it. Um, I don't feel any better. I feel more distance. And I knew it was going to be like this because I was talking to other people. And then when I look at those emails, I'm like, are those messages? I'm like, who are those from? <sighs> I, uh, I said on my last video or one of them that this is my worst nightmare. And I remember back, you know, to like just writing texts and 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 working through things with my son and being in contact with him and, and, and knowing why I was happy that he was away from New York and this bullshit. Thinking, you know, believing that he was in, in a more protected, wholesome, unheroin environment. I hear this thing a lot of people say, partners in crime, you know, like you get hooked into this like with a boyfriend or girlfriend or some, some way in which like you're going to do this together and you know, and you sort of have that um, that drug bond, you know, and that happened to my son. He quickly went his own way, I saw that. 
but I'm just saying beware if you meet a potential boyfriend or girlfriend and they want to do drugs, you are accepting the drug use, you know, forget about them, they're, they're gone, they already want to do it, so he got into it, he got triggered through this, this girl that he met, and I, I don't blame her, although I'm angry at at just that there's people like that. Um, Because I read her texts and they sucked. They were just totally uh, just trying to reel them in. I mean, not that she had to try hard, but it was a lot of like, oh, well, you think you're cool enough to do this kind of vibe to it. Bullshit. He got, he got sucked in. Karma, the, the definition of karma is action, not past lives, action, what your actions are. And uh, evidently you only do something because you want it. And you only want it because you feel like it isn't there already. So in that way, your actions are exactly what you want. All of us, every day, make choices that that are between our you know, more destructive appetites and are perhaps more constructive plans. I, I want to do bad things, you know, the things that are just, like look at the show Westworld. Everybody goes there to rape and kill. Uh, it's like the, that purg- purgation. And... Um, But, but when, I, when I don't, it's because I have plans. And those plans are a lot more exciting. And I guess time has taught me that when your plans come to fruition through hard work, you can't buy that. Nobody could buy my guitar playing or yours. You earn it through time and hard work and the plan to do it, you know, the vision for what that will be like, but also feels like along the way. Like I've enjoyed the journey looking back a few years going, shit, I I wish, I mean, I, I had to play all those things to get to this. Where will I be in three years from now? And now I just release... I don't care, you know, I'm just like, whatever comes to me should. I will pursue my, my desires, what I want. And, and see what they reveal musically. But I suppose that could, uh, as long as you're on earth, you should pursue your desires. But you have to question and analyze whether or not the things that you're doing will destroy you. It is really a shame. A shame that my son is dead. Because he was... He was so... There's not a word for it. Soulful, beautiful, brilliant, present. He was my best friend. He was the person I wanted to hang out with. I was explaining that to my wife. It's just weird, you know, that I had that. I wish he had it. <laughs> 